Hello. Today we're going to make an M shaped card. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a top fold card. We're going to look at it on the bottom front flap and kind of find this center and make a little mark. And then from the fold, we're going to cut down to the center to the mark that you made. So find this, find the top fold and find that mark down at the bottom, the middle of the card and then trim that off. And then you're gonna turn it up that way, okay? Then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna turn this over. We're gonna match up that, the corner, top of that card where the fold is, line it up to that point Alrighty, and then we're going to cut it down, and then we're going to turn this one around this way. Okay. Alrighty, so now we've got this and those two pieces. Alrighty, so now, and you've seen this card before, but doing this with it, so it makes a crisscross point card, but we're not going to do a crisscross. Instead, we're going to glue these two pieces on here to create an M, the letter M. Isn't that neat? All right, so again, we're just gonna cut, we're gonna find your center. You're gonna cut from the fold down to that center. Take these two pieces and just fold them up or flip them up like that. And then we'll glue them together to make our M. And then you can embellish it, decorate it and embellish it any way you want to, okay? So for mine, I decided I like the way these two look together. So this just says wish, 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 wish all over. So, and then this is, you can see exactly what that is. That's just so beautiful. So, and I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of doing this on the center here. So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna end up making two cards because I just, I have one sided paper. If you have two sided paper, then you only have to do this once. But I have, I have one side of paper, so I need to cut. Let's see, it was four and, four and a quarter by five and a half, so I need to cut this at five and a half first, and then four and a quarter there, because that's a regular card front. Okay, we don't need these pieces. Then we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to cut it five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, we don't need these. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we need to turn this over because we want it, I wanna cover it like this. And I can either glue it on just like that and, and then trim the edges, or if you want a, a slight border going on it, then you wanna cut it the exact size and then just cut it up a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my card and my piece that I want in this middle piece here, and I'm gonna line up the top, okay, and hold on to that. And then I'm gonna take my pencil because I wanna mark it. Right where the other one was. Okay, so that way I can cut out the two sides. Which way is that? Okay. Got to remember which which direction your the print is on your paper too. Okay, so there's that, and then this piece, or this side rather. All right. So now these two will be on the op the opposite card. Okay. So this one here will fit perfectly on here but I want a little border. So what I want to do is I want to pull it up a little, about that much. So see, it fits perfect here. So if you want to border around, then you want to do it like this. Pull it up just a wee bit. And so now you know you just need to cut this off so that it's about right here. So I'm going to put a little mark. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to lay this down because that way you don't even have to measure it. All you have to do is just kind of eyeball it. 
and then I want it about that much shorter. So let me bring that up and show you. So see how I want to go down a little bit? I want to go down as about as much as these two sides are from this top edge here. So I just need to cut that off. Alrighty. And to do that, I'm looking at that mark. And then I'm going to try to match it up on the bottom here. And actually, <clears throat> excuse me, actually, I can use the line here and I can put my tip right on that triangle. And then I can move it over just a little bit. Make sure I get it as straight as I possibly can. So that looks pretty even to me. I'm going to go for it. All right, so now let's see how that looks. Perfect. Okay, so this is going on. Yep, let's go ahead and get this glued on. Alrighty. Oops, come on. By means. Some days my right hand doesn't want to work, and some days my left hand doesn't work. Good thing I can use them both. Some days I can do certain things with one and not with the other. Alrighty, so that's perfect. So now I just need to do this two sides. So, and I need to remember that I want it this way. Okay, so if I keep these two pieces on the back, then I can flip it over this way and I know I can mark this center point. just a wee little bit and make my little mark right there okay and now I can cut from this this corner down here up to the center and this corner down there up to the center perfect okay there we go all righty Okay, so then these go right on here. So, remember how we did this piece? How we made sure it was the same size and then just pulled it up? We're going to do the same thing now. So this is the same size, but then we're just going to, excuse me, we're going to pull it up to where we want it. And that looks good to me. Alrighty, and then we just have to mark here on the paper exactly where we want it. So we want it. this is where it ends, but I want it to be a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna do about an eighth of an inch, okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead and line this flat edge up against the top here. And now I can go ahead and I can trim this down. So now I know, ooh, right at the five inch mark, I can cut both of them off. So this one, I don't have to measure at all. I just put it on that five inch mark right here, cut the top off, and now we should be good to go. Check it out. That's perfect. All right, so now we just have to glue these together. So let's go ahead and glue this one on. Um, I think I want to use that other glue. Let me go right there. When I have these tight points, I like to use, I prefer to use this glue. Alrighty, that's perfect. Alrighty, and then we'll do this one. This is so pretty. Very, very nice. Got a little glue right there. So I've got to wipe it off with my finger and then use my, my rubber eraser and that takes the excess off. There we go. Alrighty, so now these need to be glued on right here. So let's get some glue. And we're going to take the glue and we're going to do it right where the white top edge is. So see, see where my yellow stops? We're going to put the glue right above that into, the, actually we can go all the way across. All right, because we're going to put the two pieces and they're going to touch in the center anyways. So I'm just going to start on one side and go all the way over. There we go. And then we can pull these pieces and we can go ahead and glue them down. 
And as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little glue right here too, do a triangle there, because that'll hold it down more, much better. All right, so that's there. Gotta line this up here, line this up on the top. Press that down, that's pretty good. And then let's do the other side. Put that on, line up the edge. Make sure the side is lined up. Make sure the top is lined up. Go ahead and press that down. There we go. Okay, then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna burnish that down. over and check it make sure I think that's perfect all right very good we now have an m-shaped card isn't that fun I love it all right and I saw I forget I was flipping through either YouTube or probably Pinterest and saw a picture of this and went hey that's the same thing as that crisscross point card except for it's an M so I love this I like the way this came out. That looks really fun. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more glue right here, just to make sure that stays down. There, all righty. I'm gonna take that extra glue off, just squirt it out, because we don't need that. All right, perfect. So now we just have decorating to do. Alrighty, so we can either leave the inside blank or we can add another piece of paper. I'm not quite sure. I might want to put a, I don't know yet. <clears throat> See, and I could put this piece on, on the inside. That would be pretty. Ooh, I kind of like that. Huh. That would be fun. It would open up like that. Let's do that. Why not? Huh. I like that idea. Okay, so let's cut off about an eighth of an inch. There. Then we can put this right on here. And that gives it a little bit of a halo around. I like that. All right, let's do this. And now we know when we write on it, we don't want to write on this part. This shows us exactly where we can write. So it'll be covered up here. So, but honestly, I think I would write a note on the back, but then have a little message put right here. I think that would be nice. All right. So now what to put on here? Let's see, what goes in the sky? Oh, I have some stickers left. Will any of this fit on there? These would certainly match. Oh, I even have a little rainbow. I've got two rainbows. <laughs> wonder how that would look on there. That would work. Hmm. That's kind of cute. Alrighty. Whoops. Turn that around. Put that in the proper way so it doesn't all off. All right. All righty. Let's look. I know I've got birds. That's what I want is a, is a pretty bird on there. Let's see. I want a bird. Whoops. I just knocked over my pile of tape. Tape, tape, tape. How many rolls of tape do you have? <laughs> I had three. All righty. So let's see. Animals. And I'm looking in my my frack, my flat rack attack box. Let's see, these are all flowers. Okay. Animals, animals, animals. Flowers are right there. Okay. So, dogs and cats. I don't want dogs and cats. I want. Oh, these gorgeous people. 
Oh, these are gorgeous. I wonder if I could use some of these. Let's look. Michelle Parker is such a sweetheart. And I tried to keep everything in here. Look at these people. They're so cool looking. Look at this little girl <laughs> wearing mommy's shoes. That is so adorable. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. Boy, does that show that those shoes off. That is adorable. I think I like that on here. There's some little words that I just glued on. Those. Little tiny hearts. I could use those. And the Keebler Elves. This one looks like it should be on a beach. I like that image. All right. Instead of birds, I think I'm going to do that. Cute little girl. I bleed the hearts out. Okay. What is this? What's it say? It's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, and enjoy life. And let's relax. Those shoes do not look relaxing to me. <laughs> nope. No way. And these are words and oh, pretty flowers. What do the words say? Happy birthday. like and more stars and flowers happy birthday oh and some tickets that can go in the regular envelope all righty happy birthday nope that takes away from it and happy birthday oh and some grass that grass is so cool she's got a die cut for that isn't that neat and I love how you've glued these two together. That's so pretty. Alrighty. And the fishing fella. That's so cool. I'm very thankful that you had these in this envelope so that they don't get ruined. Because that would be pretty sad. Oh, this one says from Tracy Gardner. Okay. So some of these came from Tracy Gardner and some of them came from Michelle Parker. Alrighty. I don't think the grass would be appropriate for on here. Nope, because it's like she's up in the sky, like she's a little angel up there. That is so cute. Alright, so let's... I think I want to put these back in here, but on this side. I don't want them to get ruined. Alrighty. Well, I'm definitely enjoying that little girl, so let's go ahead and Put her on and I'm thinking maybe 3D her. That would be fun. Let's do that. Alrighty. I have these little 3D dots that I can use. That's gonna be so cute. I love seeing all the little girls and boys when going, getting all dressed up for church. It is just so adorable. And to be in a church building, waiting for the meeting to start and see these little children walking in, being trying to be so reverent and looking so darn adorable in their cute little outfits. I just, I love that look. And I love the feel of it. It's just so nice. Bad we can't have that more often. There. All right, little girl. That's so adorable. And I love how the gold is on there. That's so pretty. Oh, and she's got two little stars on her toes. I'm going to have to show you this up close because this is really an adorable image. Okay, the shoes were like that, so they want to go down. All right. That is so precious. How cute. All right, check it out. Do you see the gold? Isn't that pretty? And then look on her shoes. I want to see if you can, yep, right there, you can see that there's two little stars. And these are really nice, hearty images. I really like the sturdiness of them. That's very nice. All right, so we've got butterflies, we've got stars. 
there are stars in the background. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see. Time to adventure more. That would be cute. Let's put that down on the bottom. See how these little, these were little stickers, so I just stuck them on some cart. Um, yeah. Some cardstock. So that way, when I'm ready to use them, I can just cut them apart. There. That's adorable. All right, I think that needs to be 3D'd up too. I'm wondering, should I put it here and make this be my triangle? Then I need to put something here and something up there. Let's see. I could do stars up there and down. Look at the little bow. <laughs> there's a little wee little bow and there's a polka dot bow here. And some little tiny hearts. And an adorable little star. All right, I'm thinking these stars. These are really cute. I like these open right there. It's so fun getting a flat rack attack with little doodas like this. That's just so exciting because we all have such different things. Sometimes we have similar things, but sometimes we have such different things. And so it's fun to, to trade with people and to, and to share and to just surprise people and send it to them. I, did, I think that's so fun. Oh, these are gorgeous stars. Oh my goodness. That's actually perfect. I think that one there and that one there. That's cute. All right, let's do that. That's so pretty. All right, where those stars go? Let's put these ones back in here. to save your chip lids. Yep, save those plastic lids so we can use them. All right, now let's go ahead and put a dab of glue down. Yabba dabba. Every time I say that dab, that's what I, I picture. Fred Flintstone, yabba dabba do. <laughs> nice that is an adorable card oh how fun this really reminds me i should send this to my sister this really reminds me of when we were little and we would go to grandma's for the summer both of our grandmas lived lived in butler pennsylvania and uh, when we were little then we used to go over to grandma vargo's house and she always wore heels Always, even doing the garden, she would be out with her little mat and her, and she would have her dress pants on and her and her blouses, and she would dress herself up. She believed when you leave the house, you look your best. When your husband comes home, you look your best. And uh, she used to let us girls go in her closet and play with her shoes. And oh, it was so much fun. And any necklaces that she had hanging on the on the door then we were allowed to, to play with and her scarves. And so we'd go in and we'd put her necklaces on and they were always just real big chunky, chunky bead necklaces and so fun and lays. And then we'd put her shoes on and she had quite the collection of shoes. And, uh, and then of course we'd be wrapping those scarves around us just feeling so beautiful. And that's what this reminds me of. So I might have to definitely send this one out to my sister. I think she would totally get that. Yep, she would. That's sliding right off. All right, stay on there. Okay, good. So now it'll stand up on its own also. That's really fun. I like that. What an adorable card. So what do you think of that? Isn't that a fun card? Very simple to make. And then I even showed you how to decorate it. Pretty cool, huh? All righty, let me bring the whole thing up so you can see the end result. Isn't that a pretty card? 
So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.